Benjamin Graham was Warren Buffett's mentor. Graham's value investing framework consists of three categories of stocks, defensive, enterprising, and net current asset value, and 17 rules for identifying them. Graham recommended a defensive P.E. ratio of 13.3 based on an AA bond yield of 7.5%. A defensive investor in the U.S. today could thus consider stocks with P.E. ratios up to 45, since U.S. bond yields are now close to 2.16%. To adjust Graham's framework to screen stocks with P.E. ratios of 45 instead of 15, we would need to multiply the Graham number by 1.73. The reciprocal of 1.73 is 0.57 or 57%. So stocks with a gram number percentage of 57 or more on grams value screeners will have a previous close that's less than 1.73 times their calculated gram number. Since the gram number is designed to balance earnings and assets, stocks with PE values higher than 45 could clear grams rules too if they have lower PV values. Prices for enterprising great stocks will have to be adjusted similarly. These customizations would also differ from non-U.S. interest rates and bond yields. Net current asset values are calculated based on asset values alone, which, unlike earnings yields, are not dependent on bond rates. So intrinsic values for NCAV grade stocks require no such adjustment. In his 1999 Fortune article, Warren Buffett explained that interest rates act on financial valuations like gravity. The higher the rate, the greater the downward pull. 